Okay, so welcome to yet another tutorial on DOS attacks. And this time we're going to be combining two tools. We're going to use slow, slow loris .pl. Uh it's, it's basically a Perl script. And we're going to be using Nmap to actually conduct a scan of a website in order to determine whether it's vulnerable or not. Now, this attack is not perfect by any means. The more bandwidth you have, the better, sure. The stronger computer you have, also the better, because you'll be able to make more threads. Threads means just more simultaneous tasks. However, sometimes, the, the most of the time actually, if you don't have enough bandwidth, the site will not be permanently DOS. So users will still be able to access it, however their loading time will be like yeah, pretty long. A minute or two. Uh, try try putting yourselves in such a position. Try uh, thinking about a commercial site where they sell things. And imagine if all the clients logging into that server have to wait for a couple of minutes before that site actually loads. How many of you would actually stick around and wouldn't just go to pretty much a very similar site that sells pretty much the same things? That's just a fictive scenario and just trying to prove a point that you don't need to actually permanently bring the site down. You can just render it unusable in this fashion where users access time is extremely long and basically that site becomes unusable. So whatever you're loading, it takes a minute or two and it feels like you're, I don't know if, if, if everybody's going to remember those ISDN connections or something of a kind uh, where everything was extremely slow. Well, that's basically how your how that website would look like when you are performing this sort of an attack. Anyway, uh, there are a few things which we need to do here. And one of those things is that we need to conduct a scan. So let's go, let's go and use our Nmap as we have used before. You see I have the commands memorized here as I have used these things uh, before to test them out to see how it works out. So I have nmap. I am telling nmap to use a particular script for this purpose, uh, parallels 400, and I am giving it an IP address that I wish to scan for this particular vulnerability. I have also issued double verbose output in order for nmap to actually tell me what is going on, what it is doing. It is it doing on nmap website. Let me just go ahead and do this. Excellent. So this is the this is the site where you can find all the scripts. I have shown you this before uh, in the previous tutorials that have label nmap or something of a kind where we've where we've dwelt on the chapter of footprinting and seeing how we can actually scan the servers for vulnerabilities. Remember how I told you that you can get you can find the scripts here on their website? Well, you can also find categories and what every script does. I've also mentioned that as well. What we want is click on DOS, so denial of service. These particular scripts will scan for those particular vulnerabilities. They will scan for vulnerabilities related to DOS attacks. And we have, I don't know, broadcast of Ahi DOS attempts to discover hosts in the local network. So we're not really that interested in local networks at the moment. I've dwelt a lot with that on wireless and how you can actually perform a DOS attack there. We want this one, HTTP slow Loris, web server for tests web server for vulnerability to the slow Loris DOS attack by launching that particular type of an attack. There are also other ones. Uh, feel free to actually try them out on your own systems and see how that works out for you, what what uh, different types of attacks will actually work for you. Anyway, uh, we want this one for web servers and in order to be able to DOS a website or something of a kind. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it here. You see script HTTP slow loris. Press enter and let the scan run 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 its course now the scan can take a can take a quite a bit of your time why 
I don't know, it's in land, it should be a bit faster, but apparently it's not. Over internet, it's bound to be slower than this, so don't just uh, think it doesn't work, there's something of a kind. It is. It does work, but you know, if you're doing this online, it might take a while longer in land. It's, I, thought, I really thought it was faster, but apparently this is the speed at which it progresses. Anyway, you have all the standard stuff that you would usually have, and down below it says completed SYN stealth scan. Excellent, so that's that's just the normal stuff. Down below you have NSC script scanning. Only after it has conducted its regular scan it does it begin the NSC script scan, the script which we have actually passed and the script which we want to utilize in order to figure out uh, is the server actually vulnerable to this type of an attack? You have a separate timer for the NSC script and a separate percentage done for the NSC script as well. So it says here the current time and this is the remaining time. I'm sorry, this is not the current time. This is estimated time to completion, something of a kind. It doesn't matter. Don't you don't have to pay attention to this. This is the important part. It says 2 minutes and 41 seconds remaining, 1 minute and 51 seconds remaining. It's going to keep on issuing them until its task is done. Once that is done, uh, we will know whether the server is vulnerable or not. These routers, they tend to be vulnerable, f I mean, to a ton load of things. I've had a bit of an awkward experience. Uh, just goes to show that you should never really move away from your computer while it's unlocked. My friends, they took my IP address and because uh, the home routers are not really that good in terms of protection, so they were they were dosing me basically. Of course, I can avoid it quite easily by just changing the IP address, turning the router on and off, pretty much will do the trick, there are other ways. But I couldn't figure out, I, for about 5-10 minutes I couldn't really figure out what was going on, I didn't figure it out. Anyway, because one of the first things that people do when something is wrong with their internet connection, they reset the router. That's what I did, and of course the IP address changed, so the DOS attack stopped. Only later on did they actually tell me that they were messing around with me a little bit. Anyway, uh, the scan has completed. It says probably vulnerable. So let's see what we can do. You can go ahead and clear the screen here. Unless you have like a hundred clients or more than one client here that you are, have scanned, then you want to redirect this to a file as I have showed previously. So go ahead and clear the screen. <coughs> In the follow-up tutorial, sorry for the cough, something just got into my throat. But in the follow-up tutorial, we will actually go ahead and download the Perl script and see how we can actually utilize it in order to actually perform this attack. Until then, I bid you farewell.